For sure. So I know we talked about it a lot on the last time we talked. You can dive as deep into it or as little as you want, but obviously you were there during the coaching change between Lou Holtz to Steve Spurrier and just how it all went down. It was sort of all sudden and everything. And we know how Steve Spurrier's career at South kind of went down, but I remember you last time telling me that, you know, listen, it's people don't understand that it's not always a smooth transition for everybody on the roster. You you go from – Oh, yeah. A guy that didn't recruit you to it's a completely different mindset and philosophy and the culture completely changes and stuff like that. And, you know, you were able to find yourself have some success while Steve Spurrier was there, definitely especially at the quarterback position in 2006. But mm-hmm. um, if you want to expand on it, you can. If not, it's fine. But I, I just, you know, I think people – it's interesting to hear your side of just how, you know, how tough the transition was for some guys, you know, including yourself. Well, it was, it was it was very tough for me, um, you know, for those who, who pretty much know what I went through during that time, um, mm-hmm. you know, coming off um, finishing that season, being being the um, being the quarterback, yeah, and then ending the season starting quarterback, um, taking over for Don Rell, beating beating uh, you know teams like Alabama, Arkansas that year, um, you know, as a freshman. And um, I mean, as a real sophomore, but my first year, and it, it was it was kind of tough, you know, to not even get an opportunity to compete for the starting job when Coach Holtz arrived, when Coach Spurrier arrived on campus. Um, you know, I, I, when he arrived on campus, it was uh, it, it was immediately you a wide receiver, so mm-hmm. there was no quarterback battle. Uh, mm-hmm. Blake was crowned was crowned the, the starting position, which I had no idea why. But um, you know, it it was just it was tough. It was tough to understand, and you know, I was given the opportunity to transfer. But during that time, you know, transferring wasn't uh, it wasn't a big thing. No one actually right. really knew much about it. There was no transfer portal, so you know, I, of course, someone like myself. Who who's been a starter for two years in the, the you know to get the opportunity to transfer, you know it's kind of scary because you know you're gonna lose that year, uh, or have to go somewhere and sit out. So that was not an option for me, and you know so I stayed and 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 pretty much just just kind of that's when when it kind of well I mean when, as soon as I arrived on campus it was already you know mm. you you know do whatever I have to do to take to help the team so. Um, being unselfish, you know, being unselfish during that transition might have, you know, put me in a place where, you know, going, seeing these guys uh, like Chris Leak and all these teams lead, 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 lead their teams to championships or, or titles during that time where a running quarterback was mm-hmm. not really, you know, there and the things that I was doing during that time like beating Alabama with the two the two touchdowns late in the game and you know it just it, it wasn't there so to know not under I was definitely not caught off guard by I was caught off guard by being not being able to compete for the starting job at right. all 